Peace talks between Russia and Ukraine ended without any breakthrough today as Russian forces continued their attack on Kyiv. The fourth round of negotiations will resume tomorrow following a technical pause. It's all in hopes of ending the conflict that has forced more than 2.8 million people to leave Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky saying in a video message that difficult talks took place today. The negotiations happening as Russia launched a flurry of strikes hitting a residential building in Kyiv just before dawn, all while many residents were fast asleep. CCTV footage showed the moment the building exploded, shocking a passerby. A bus and other vehicles were destroyed in the blast and at least two people were killed in this attack. Destroyed buildings, destroyed infrastructure, city bus just got hit by the rocket, lives are getting lost. That's the war that Russia started. Drone footage uploaded to social media yesterday showed military vehicles under fire around a building in the besieged Ukrainian port of Mariupol. As of today, 400,000 people are said to still be trapped there. The Red Cross reporting that they're running out of food and drinking water. The situation is really untenable, unbearable for civilians, and uh, they really uh, want uh, a safe passage out. The United Nations Secretary General saying that the impact on civilians is reaching terrifying proportions. With each passing hour, two things are increasingly clear. First, it kept getting worse. Second, whatever the outcome, this war will have no winners, only losers. The UN estimates that 2.8 million people have fled the country since Russia's invasion began. After crossing to safety in Romania today, a Ukrainian woman couldn't hold back tears. Save us children, please. Please. While the fighting continues across Ukraine, Russia is making new claims, saying that 20 people have been killed when a Ukrainian missile exploded in the city of Donetsk, which has been the scene of a bloody conflict between Russian-backed separatists and the Ukrainian government forces since 2014. Russia provided no evidence, and Ukraine denied launching the attack. The Ukrainian government says more than 2,000 of their people have died in this war so far. The UN estimates at least 46 children have been killed. The International Criminal Court has started looking at the situation. UK's Justice Minister saying there must be accountability. Making sure that anyone who commits war crimes in Ukraine uh, is held to account and the commanders on the ground, those that may be receiving illegal orders as well as those in the Kremlin need to know that right now. Russia and Ukraine are maintaining a shaky diplomatic path with a new round of talks to come tomorrow. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is set to address the Parliament of Canada tomorrow morning and will deliver an address via video to the U.S. Congress on Wednesday.